So welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming to the last talk of the day. <laughs> um, <clears throat> my name is uh, Dominique uh, Toupin. Um, if you want to have some very deep technical information regarding the TTCN language, it's actually this guy at Ericsson who knows and who's part of the uh, TTCN spec and everything. He was not able to make it today, but you can take his uh, email address if you have very detailed uh, TTCN information that you want to have. Um, so I'm here to talk about Titan. Um, I'm a tool manager at Ericsson. Um, so we do telecom systems, high availability systems. We don't sell any tools, so I'm not here to sell you uh, any tools. I'm just here to explain how we are using it uh, internally. Uh, and this is all uh, open source. So what is uh, Titan? Um, Titan is a test uh, automation tool. Uh, so you can develop a uh, test case uh, manually. It's really useful if you want to do uh, frequent uh, regression testing, if you want to automate um, your test environment, if you want to generate tests from models. Um, so you can create test harness. Um, you can also create uh, specialized test tools for performance testing, for uh, traffic uh, recording, some security testing, some conformance testing. So uh, others are using uh, Titan and TTCN tools to create uh, those specific uh, test tools. One big uh, ingredient of uh, success for Titan is the uh, TTCN language. Um, so a lot of the success is uh, because of uh, TTCN. Um, so I'll, I'll spend a few slides on TTCN. It's a domain-specific language for testing. Um, so it's a high-level language. Um, so it's platform-independent, so very portable. Um, and the test data and test logic are separated from the test uh, environment. So you can reuse those test cases in different phase of your development and in different uh, environments. So some uh, benefits of uh, TTCN. Well, first of all, TTCN is a standard test language. Uh, so the spec is defined at uh, ETSI. It's the European uh, Telecom Standard Institute. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's used in several domains. So initially, uh, the TTCN2 uh, was used a lot in telecom. With TTCN3, a lot of other um, uh, domain uh, got involved in TTCN. So today, it's used in automotive, uh, avionics, and all sorts of other systems. It's really designed for automated uh, testing. And here, you can see the amount of um, um, information and the amount of pages in TTCN. So it's quite an active uh, community there. You can go to the uh, TTCN uh, website if you want to have more information on it. Uh, so there's the uh, ttcn.org. Uh, so there you'll have a community, you'll have examples, uh, you'll see uh, libraries, white paper, and things that are specific to TTCN. So those are some of the uh, domains uh, where they, 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 they are using this. Um, and again, this is from the uh, the TTCN uh, website. So what are the benefits for this? Um, so in Ericsson, we use it a lot to increase uh, our productivity when we test. Uh, in Ericsson, we have a lot of testers. We have, I think, more testers than we have developers. We do an awful lot of tests. And we need to get uh, those people to uh, test a bit faster. So that was one of the big reasoning behind uh, TTCN and Titan. And we've seen that in practice, that if, you have, uh, if you're using TTCN compared to conventional testing, it really increases a lot, uh, especially over time. It has a big impact. And you have that in other studies uh, out there. This is one of them. Uh, that's another one where you can see that uh, you have, uh, you can spend a lot more time into developing your test case. So you can focus 
uh, a lot more time there where it's useful instead of uh, maintaining your test environment and, and things like that. Um, so there's those types of benefits. Um, that's another study from another uh, university that shows this. With TTCN, you will need to have, um, I mean, there's some barrier to entry because you need to uh, understand uh, the language. Uh, so you need to, um, to spend a bit more time at the beginning compared to Python, for example. But in the long run, it really pays uh, off um, because if you are trying to d automate your test with Python, uh, it will be a lot more costly when you will debug those things and, uh, and maintenance and trying to automate the whole, um, um, the whole test scenario is a lot more expensive with, uh, with Python compared to TTCM. So what are the features available in TTCN? Um, uh, they have a type system, so a rich uh, data type, so you can um, use it for any type of uh, protocol structure can be described in there. You can import it uh, directly from um, XSD, uh, NC, JSON. You have the concept of uh, testing components. Uh, it's really key to have the independent behavior uh, simulating. So we use it a lot with uh, simulators. We have a lot of uh, Titan simulators uh, in-house. You can use it with uh, black box and gray box. Uh, so message-based, synchronous interface. Also uh, continuous signals with real-time systems. It's able to handle non-deterministic behavior, uh, fuzzy testing. So those are examples uh, which are quite uh, convenient to do with uh, TTCM. This is the um, uh, structure of the spec. Um, so I've mentioned XSD, JSON. Uh, those are the language mapping that you can import. There are some uh, extensions as well. Um, Real-time uh, performance is one of them. Uh, signal testing, uh, you have the core language, and you have some tool uh, implementation spec as well. So the Titan itself, so, so far I've uh, given you information on TTCN, which is the language, uh, and now I'm going to um, talk about Titan, which is the tool that is currently being open source at Eclipse. Uh, so Titan is a complete uh, tool set uh, based on uh, TTCN, and it started uh, many years ago. Um, we started in 1998, where we had the, the, the TTCN compiler was, was started. Uh, so we used it in many different research projects. Uh, so we created our own uh, 3G RNC test tool. So this is a pretty big uh, node in the mobile network uh, system. Uh, so this was used uh, with Titan. Um, it was quite successful, so they, they decided to productify it. Um, and today, it's really the main test tools for um, a lot of product uh, in Ericsson. So it's been used by thousands of users around the world, and it's really our biggest uh, test framework. So we are open sourcing this at Eclipse. Uh, this is the uh, project uh, page. You can go and see more details. What uh, you will see in there, it's a bit uh, different than the other Eclipse project. Uh, first of all, the ma vast majority of the code is not uh, Java. Uh, so there's uh, 1.6 million lines of code of uh, C, C++. Uh, and then there's a small part which is in Java, which is the uh, traditional uh, um, Java Eclipse IDE, where you can uh, um, code your uh, test case, and uh, you have the, the compiler integration. And so this is the traditional Eclipse view of things, uh, but for the TTCN uh, language. Um, so it's been um, uh, being developed for the last uh, 15 years. Um, there's lots of effort that has been put into this. And it's not just uh, uh, you know, the Eclipse part or this small protocol part. It's, it's really the whole tool set. So you can use that uh, as is. I mean, you have the runtime. Uh, you have the compiler. You have all the pieces 
that are specified in the, in the spec. You will also see in there a set of uh, protocols uh, and system under test adapters. Um, you'll see a few of them in the, uh, in the project. So this is how the uh, architecture uh, looks like. So this is the uh, Java part. It's the traditional uh, Eclipse IDE. They also have a log viewer in, uh, in Eclipse. So this is Java part. And then you have a Titan compiler. So this is all written in the C, C++. There's a runtime. Uh, there's a test uh, managers. And then there's the uh, adapters with the uh, system under test. So this is a summary of all the components that uh, you will see in the project. I will go briefly uh, over them. Um, so the Titan uh, designer, so this is an Eclipse plugin where you can, um, where you, you can write your TTCN3 um, um, source code uh, for, for testing. So it has all the Eclipse uh, features for, for advanced editing, uh, syntax highlighting, uh, semantic checking. There's the uh, Titan executor. So that's when you want to um, execute the test, uh, get some results. So you can trigger that from Eclipse. There's the log viewer. Um, this is another Eclipse login where you can see the log offline, uh, either in a tabular format or a graphical format. There's the uh, titanium component. So this is a uh, code quality analysis component that is integrated in Eclipse. So it's a, it's a bit like a static analysis tool that will identify uh, bad practices for uh, TTCM. And the rest all are all C++ uh, components. So there is the, uh, the compiler. Uh, there is some command line tools to convert uh, XSD documents to uh, TTCN uh, modules. There's a runtime library. Um, there's the uh, command line uh, controller to control uh, the test. Uh, there's some make files. Uh, there's command line utility to merge log events uh, based on uh, timestamps. Uh, there's the log format, so you can uh, have a um, format output for the text log. You can do that from the, the command line. You don't have to use the Eclipse view. You can do that from the command line as well if you want. Uh, there's log filters. Um, there's the reg gen component. Um, there's documentation. Um, so it's, a, it's quite a big uh, project. Uh, so we might uh, split that uh, in the future. But so far, it's all into this uh, Titan project. Test ports. Um, <coughs> so if you want to um, do some uh, testing uh, and you want to maintain the, uh, the connection um, um, between the different components, that's where test ports comes in, and they're quite um, useful for that. So you have a, a C++ API where you can do um, adapters. And you'll see in Titan that you have a few implementation of that. So I won't list them all, but uh, TCP, UDP, uh, PCAP for, for protocol. So all those test ports are already there in the open source project, but you can also define your own test ports in there. So that's what the uh, Eclipse uh, UI looks like. So you're probably very familiar with the Eclipse UI. So you have, uh, like in Java, you have the editing area, the project explorer. If you have problem in your uh, code, the static analysis can identify it. When you build with the compiler, you see the, uh, the result here. Uh, so this is the uh, traditional Eclipse view, but for uh, TTCN language. So you have a very fast uh, and incremental compilation in there when you are designing your, your test cases. Uh, you have a few uh, APIs. The system under test adapter is uh, one API. Uh, you have an external C++ functions. 
where you, you can have your own utilities and, uh, and, and, and codec uh, that you can add uh, yourself. There's a codec uh, generator uh, for binary protocol. There's a built-in logger, an API to add log when you're executing tests and you want to, um, to trace what's going on. And there's also some uh, interworking with other languages from uh, Python and Java. There is some bindings there as well. So if you are executing a test case, that's what you can see in Eclipse. So you'll see the status of the uh, controller. You'll see the test case uh, verdict. So if your test case passed, failed, or if, if it was not able to, uh, to finish. You can see the log, so what's going on in the, uh, the runtime. So it's all available uh, in Eclipse. Um, and what's nice about the execution part is the runtime that you're getting uh, is a high performance runtime that is being used uh, a lot in, in Ericsson. So you don't have to redevelop that. You can reuse that uh, as is. Uh, you'll have detail logging with this. Uh, you can use uh, macro and, and some self-configuring for test uh, execution. Uh, so sometimes uh, this can be done. Um, uh, you don't have to change the code itself. You have a, you have a way to adapt it uh, and have a self-configuration for the, uh, the execution. It works on uh, multiple platforms. If you are on Linux, uh, this is really good because everything will be able to run uh, natively. Um, Solaris as well. On Windows, uh, it's not as good. You can still use it, but it will be via a SIGWIN type of uh, interface. Um, but usually, I mean, if you want to test, uh, if, your, uh, <laughs> if your system under test or your target is a Windows operating system, you probably have worse uh, problems than that. Um, the test result analysis. Uh, so this is uh, how you see the, um, the result. So you have a graphical view of the result. So here you see the uh, list of uh, test cases, their verdict. So this is all extracted from the logs in a tree type of view. You can also see the uh, uh, a sequence, uh, like a sequence diagram of the test, uh, tech, you know, test case. You can uh, select in the view, so you can do some work there. You have the context menu, so you can open the source and see uh, what generated or what's the uh, corresponding TTCN source code that's related to, um, to this uh, view, and it will open uh, the TTCN uh, code corresponding to that. So this is another way of viewing the analysis. The previous one was graphical. This one is a tabular view. Uh, so you see the different uh, uh, messages uh, and logs. So it's like an event uh, view with the uh, timestamp. So you can follow uh, what happened um, in a tabular format. There is also a command line support. Uh, so this is really important, especially if you want to uh, automate uh, your test cases. Uh, command line is really important in this case. So you have a full, all the features are available from the, the command line. And you can uh, build uh, automatically um, your, your test cases. So you can do uh, online monitoring of the test execution. So you can do all of that at the command line as well. You can make some post execution log collection and merging, all automated, all from the, the command line. You also have some log uh, post processing utilities and filtering, formatting. Uh, when the, the test case or, or finished to run, you can automatically generate a report in HTML if you want as well and uh, integrate that into your continuous integration system, perhaps. And this is why it's important. Um, this is a study done from, um, it was uh, Fran Hofer uh, in Berlin, I believe. Uh, so they did a, a study on, okay, how can we increase the efficiency 
by automating testing. And if you look at uh, this one, if you need to run 13,000 tests, uh, in this case, it was taking them um, two weeks to be able to run them, and it took six people uh, to do it. Um, but with uh, TTCN, if you automate those things, uh, you can go from uh, six people, two weeks, uh, to six hours, one person. And now you can put that automatically into your continuous integration uh, system, and you have a much faster turnaround for, the, uh, for developing the, uh, the product. So what are the uh, benefits of using uh, Titan? Well, first, you have all the components in Titan, so it's kind of an all-in-one solution uh, for the, the testing of uh, protocol and communication between uh, the nodes. Uh, it supports uh, uh, around 140 protocols. You have several APIs, uh, so you can adapt uh, and you can uh, customize it for your uh, system uh, under test. And it's very fast to develop uh, new protocol support with this because you have so many others that you can look at and tweak to adapt to your, uh, to your custom one. So it's been developed for uh, quite some time, so it's quite a mature uh, tool. It's not because it's a new project at Eclipse that uh, you know, it will be mature in 10 years. I mean, this has been developed for quite some time uh, already. Uh, it's well suited for the traditional you know, V process, uh, but also into the agile development process. So we use that uh, a lot internally into agile teams. And for them, it's really key to automate everything into the uh, continuous integration. And now they are into continuous uh, deployment. Uh, so if you want to do this in an agile way, it's really important to be able to uh, automate uh, the testing phase. Uh, so it's multi-purpose. Uh, so you can do functional and non-functional testing with this. Um, and you can reuse it in all sorts of different uh, targets, which is quite convenient. So in the case of uh, Ericsson, that's how uh, we use uh, Titan. Uh, I mean, those are the uh, high-level summary of uh, what we do. So we use uh, Titan a lot for telecom type of systems. Uh, we also do uh, some TV and media, and we use Titan, transport, utility. So that's give you an idea of uh, where Titan was used in Ericsson. And it will not uh, stop uh, there because um, this is a prediction of uh, most of the industry analysis uh, out there. Uh, so they really predict that the uh, <laughs> amount of connected device will go up uh, very, very fast in the uh, upcoming years. And when you have a lot of connected devices that talk to each other like this, uh, testing really becomes uh, an issue if you don't have something like Titan, because if you want to test all the interaction and the, the, the communication between all those devices, it's really hard uh, to do it without something like Titan. So hopefully it will help you guys also um, in this, uh, this area. So this is an example of uh, how we are using it at uh, Ericsson. Uh, so this is the traditional uh, V model. And this is the different uh, level that we have. Uh, this is for telecom systems. So we have network level, system level, function level, unit. So Titan is used uh, here uh, for model-based testing. It's used here even in some uh, unit testing. Uh, so sometimes they have a uh, simulator, and then you have uh, developers. Instead of using the uh, real target, they use the Titan simulator to do some unit tests with it. So it's, it's used in that uh, case as well. Uh, but this is the biggest use uh, of all. It's really when you are at the uh, function level and you want to do function tests with your system. So this is where 
Titan is used the most in Ericsson. But you can also use it in the system integration, end-to-end uh, -end scenario, um, certification testing. So it's, you, you can use it in, in all those layers. But this is how we use it uh, internally in Ericsson. And this is an example of uh, uh, one use case. So in that uh, system, it was a, an IMS uh, telephony application server. And you see all the different nodes in a uh, mobile network. So we don't always realize that, but um, when you make a, a phone call, a mobile phone call, there's tons of nodes out there in the country to handle uh, your data requests and your phone call. There's many different uh, telecom nodes. So this is one example uh, where all of those are different nodes in the mobile network. And all of those are simulated with a separate uh, TTCN3 component. And then um, this uh, system is talking with uh, the other. So you can test this system very thoroughly without having real nodes uh, like that, because you need a lot of them. Uh, so this is another use case uh, that we have. This is a real, real stuff. So you see the different uh, protocols. Sometimes it's CORBA. Sometimes it's SS7. Uh, it's SIP. Uh, so it could be all sorts of different uh, protocol involved. So um, we are doing it uh, in open source uh, because we think uh, it's really beneficial for us to, um, to take Titan to the next level. Because we've been developing it uh, in-house for many, many years. Uh, but Ericsson is not a tool provider. I mean, we don't do any business by selling tools. Um, so the, um, the reasoning there is to be able to um, collaborate with experts from different company and different university uh, to be able to continue to improve uh, Titan in open source. So we've seen that uh, many times with Polarsys, uh, when you get a lot of uh, uh, experts from different companies collaborating together, we typically get a much better result uh, than if we have like, one company doing it uh, behind closed doors. Um, so you can reuse that. You can add the feature yourself. Um, there's a nice industry um, uh, behind it. Um, and and it, it reusing the, uh, the Eclipse uh, technology uh, platform. Questions? Has uh, anyone used the uh, TTCN here before? <laughs> Raise your hand. OK, there's one person, two person. <laughs> so you probably don't have a lot of knowledge about uh, TTCN. Uh, but it's, uh, if, if you look into the, um, uh, like the, in the, the Autosar uh, area, they use it for uh, certification. Uh, they've been uh, using TTCN for medical components as well. Uh, to test the interaction with, with uh, the different uh, medical uh, components that they had. Uh, so it, it's being used in all sorts of uh, different industry, but it's really on the you know, test and INV area. So if you're not a tester, uh, it's probably normal that you didn't uh, really use uh, TTCN in the past. So do you have, uh, so if you didn't use TTCN in the past, you won't have very detailed technical questions. But do you have general questions about uh, Titan or? By the way, there is some uh, data sheet uh, in the front. So it's like a two-pager uh, feature list that uh, you can take if you want and show to your colleagues who are doing testing in your companies. No questions. So thank you for attending. <laughs> <laughs>